Hi guys, it's Kaz and today I'm here with my May to be read pile. Now I have a lot of books that I plan on reading during the month of May. Luckily though there are three readathons which are happening pretty much back to back during the month. There is the Bad of Books 13.0 readathon from the 11th to the 17th of May. There is the Ribsat Read Your Bookshelfathon round 5 readathon happening from the 18th to the 25th of May and there's also the Crush Your TBR readathon happening I think it's the 15th to the 17th of May. So that's three readathons happening over the course of two weeks. So I think those might end up being my saviors for the month uh, because yeah, I've got a lot of books that I plan on reading. So let's jump in. I'm going to quickly start off with a couple of books that I was currently reading at the end of April. The first of which is The Power of One by Bryce Courtney and I was listening to the audiobook of this one and at this point that I'm filming I have already finished it. I'm not going to talk about my thoughts about this book until the May wrap up at the end of the month but yes this is one book ticked off the list. I also have Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier and this is another one that I was reading at the beginning of the month and have already finished now. I'll tell you a little bit more about what I think of this one at the end of the month. And then I was also halfway through Death Note Volume 5 of the Black Edition by Tsugumi Oba and on that note one of the other books on my TBR pile is Volume 6 of the Black Editions of Death Note. I'm going to be finishing this one throughout the month because I'm planning to start the anime series very very soon. So this will finish up the Death Note series for me. I'm also planning on reading The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. This is the last book that I have to read for my uni course in gothic literature and this one is about a private investigator who is hired for a particular case and it turns out to be a lot more sinister or complex than initially it seems I believe. Not too sure but this one's quite a short one so should be able to whiz through this one fairly quickly I hope. This one I have already started reading and that is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens and I'm listening to the audiobook version of this one. So far I think I read about 150 pages worth of the book so I'm nearing the midpoint actually. Should be able to finish this one relatively soon especially with my commute to and from uni. Next is a particular book that you have seen several times. Several times indeed and that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I'm not sure if it was on the February or March TBR video that I pulled out of my TBR jar for that month. Either February or March, I'm not particularly sure from what I can tell. It is about two princesses. There is a god king and I think one of the princesses is meant to marry him. There's a lesser god and an immortal and a unique kind of magic. So I'm looking forward to this. Next I have Above the Fold by Peter Yeldon. This was sent to me by an Australian publisher for pity's sake and it is set during the Second World War. It is about a man and a woman, two people that have fallen in love and he's a journalist and I think due to some series of events he is torn apart from his love. I love books that are set during the war era so really really looking forward to this one. Next I have Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli and this is a book that the Padfoot's Lazy Book Club is reading for the month and because I got sent this by Penguin Australia a couple of months ago I thought this was a good time to pick it up. I don't really know anything about this book. The synopsis on the back talks about Simon who emails someone called Blue and someone sees the emails and things go horribly wrong so I'm not sure but I'm definitely excited to read this one because I've heard really really good things about it so yes planning to pick this one up. Now next on my TBR list is the Little Book Club read-along pick for May and June. The theme of which was mythology and the book that you guys ended up voting for is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I cannot wait to start this book. If I don't end up uh, getting around to reading it during the month. I have June still to read it which is good but yeah I don't actually really know much about this book. I don't think I've ever even looked at the synopsis before so just give me a second. So there is someone called Shadow and just before he's released from prison his wife dies and then he's on a plane and he meets someone called Mr. Wednesday who claims to be a former god and the king of America. That sounds really really interesting and super cool. Oh my goodness okay even more excited to read this one. Cannot wait. If you guys are interested in reading this one as well, you totally should and you can join in on the discussion as we talk about it on Goodreads and then during the live show at the end of June. You should read it too. Woo! Now even though I haven't 
technically finished the last book that I picked out of my TBR jar, I decided to pick another one out. And I feel like being super ambitious and just adding more stress to myself. So I'm gonna do it, okay? I'm gonna do it. The book that I have here is... Ooh, Sherlock! Yes! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I have this wonderful bind up of the Sherlock Holmes stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So of the novels, I have read A Study in Scarlet, The Sign of the Four, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. And the next novel is The Valley of Fear. But this book is actually set out with the stories in chronological order as per the publication date. So I'm going to stick with that. I haven't actually been able to stick strictly to reading them in chronological order because I've studied Sherlock a couple of times at uni and that's been jumping out of this kind of order. According to this, the next thing that I should be reading is one of the short stories from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, and that is A Scandal in Bohemia. So that is what I'm going to be reading from the Sherlock stories. This is actually perfect. I could totally read it during the readathon. In many of my TBR readathon videos, I've said that I wanted to read some more Sherlock Holmes because they're relatively short, particularly the short stories, they're quite short. So this is a great opportunity to read some more. And if I have the time, I might even read a few more of the short stories, not just that one. I think that I will be doing TBR videos for the readathons I'm participating in. So you can look forward to those and you can know what I do plan specifically to read during each readathon. This is a pretty ambitious <laughs> TBR be pile for this month so it'll be interesting. I think that's about all that I really have to say for this TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!